We're here with the legend Bernard Hopkins. Always got time for man, you. Cl clearly in shape, man. Uh, you want to announce your return too to the ring, like the way Mike Tyson? Did? First of all, good to see you. But not making a. I'm trying to just stay maintain my suits, maintain the the you know um, the less I put on weight, the more money I keep in my pocket. You know, so um, but fitness is my life. I'm not doing anything unusual because you've been knowing me over 10 years in this business or more. And um, it goes to show you as time continues to go that I'm going to be continue to be who I said I was when I was boxing and who I am now as a retired fighter. That I'm going to be the, I guess you could say, um, the way to go to take care of yourself and look good. So I feel good. Um, I feel even better because this weekend of fights coming up at the Barclay where I broke in a title defense with Travis Cloud. The first major title fight was here at the Barclay Center. And look at the history and look at the two pictures. If you can get near the dugout coming in or dressing rooms, uh, you will see two of my photos framed there for life as long as this building is stand. That's what I was told. And they stood there too. So my DNA of history is absolutely uh, being seen from every basketball player, NBA or hockey player or any other sport that comes through the Barclay Center. They will see my two photos framed pictures in that hallway coming out the dressing room. That to me is history. That to me is saying, hey, in the future, which is now, other fighters, other championship fights, other events will actually see the, the footprint of the people that was here from day one when this building was board, built fighting at a high world championship level. And then that to me is proud to see West Coast, you know, particularly fights, fights and fighters and matches being done here in the East Coast. You know and I know this fight, normally nine out of 10 would have been in where, Vegas or LA, correct? Come on, man, we, 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 we are thirsty for events like this. It's been a while. Whether you say Atlantic City, whether you say New York, whether you say Madison Square Garden, or, or and they really the two big, big, big spots. If you're not talking about, um, you know, like uh, uh, football or soccer fields or anything like that, we're talking about inside venues, inside um, historic buildings that, you know, the Madison Square Garden. You know, we hear, right? This is the legacy that the Barclays Center will remember too, just like my fight. They remember this fight because this fight could have been anywhere. It could have even been out of the country, it's Saudi Arabia. You think they wouldn't pay millions of dollars the fuck to get this fight there? As much as they want to be in the business, I'm talking about the Saudis. They would have paid probably double. Who knows, right? They want to be in the game. So being in New York City, Brooklyn, or Crooklyn. Come on, man. Yeah, I'm just Come on. I feel like I'm back in when I was for Travis Cloud for the WBA, for the WBA uh, Light Heavyweight Championship at 45, uh, well, 47, excuse me. It's crazy. Bernard, uh, at the face off uh, at the Empire State Building, you know, as a master I wasn't of, here, of, of but psychological warfare, you know, yeah, yeah. You, know it, you saw it, right? So, like, as a master of psychological warfare, that you were. A master. Did, did, Devin did slap Ryan, but Ryan also got him to the point to react that way, right? And, I, and we haven't seen Devin react that way in really any match that he, I witnessed him being more of a calm, more of a, a person that, that, you know, take it on the chin when things are said and things are, are mentioned. But this particular time, he, he, he got, Ryan got a reaction out of him. And to me, that's saying that you know, somebody didn't know something about getting in the head of your opponent. I mean, you know, I think hands down, people will understand that uh, if anybody want to speak on how effective that can be, it's Bernard Hopkins. B-Hop, B-Hop, I, I have a question about your Philadelphia brother, Jerron Boots Ennis, who just I don't want to talk about Boots yeah. Ennis. I'm going to talk about what's happening now. That's his business. That's his problem. It becomes our business, Golden Boy, when he run into one of our guys. Um, this fight is so important to be distracted by whoever would think that anything else is important 
especially talking to a promoter, especially talking to somebody that understands the business, to talk about Bruce Ennis or anybody else and not talk about this historic, important, dramatized fight that's happening this Saturday between Ryan Garcia and Devin Haney. What's your thoughts on Ryan Garcia uh, speaking of distractions and his promotion of the fight? Uh, is it a distraction to, you know, his Twitter rants, the things he's talking about? Uh, how do you We, we, not we, I would say they are saying it's a distraction. Until the outcome of Saturday, I'm pretty sure, I'm confident that you will see it was more of a motivation, but it was meant and put out there to be a distraction because who's talking about it? You them not I and so I am asking questions about something that Ryan got those who's want to ask me these questions about what he said so who's being controlled who's being led down a whole alley to where they don't even know where they're going but they just repeating what they seen because they was fed by media content by Ryan Garcia. We all know that all that is out there, but it don't mean nothing. When Saturday night come and that bell ring and we all witnessing potentially history or not. That's what the balls have come down to. We less than 72 hours away. Am I right? 48 something, right? Do the math. If you want to count these hours, let's count them. I, I consider this day is over. As a fighter, though, you don't think it takes away from the focus? You know, no. you're, you're known to lock in on fights. No, no, it don't take away the focus because if you look at things I've said, things I've done prior to the fight, you would be like, man. What Ryan doing is nothing extraordinary or outlandish and outrageous, rather, than what Bernard Hopkins did. And I mean, talking about the flag. You know how many Puerto Ricans still hate me today? And I've been to San Juan. That's the only time I lose weight when I go to San Juan because I don't eat nothing for three days. <laughs> so what are we talking about? We're talking about a strategy or maybe not, on why and how this could affect either fighter, either person, Devin Haney or and Ryan Garcia. I said that it can motivate both of them to do what they set out to do and say what they're going to do, but now the, talk, the clock is ticking, the sand in the sand clock glass is almost over. After a while, there's no rap. When I go up there, when the main event come and Oscar call me up to the podium, I have no rap. There's nothing to talk about. We have a fight, which was questioned 24 hours ago, 48 hours ago, 70 hours ago, going backwards. God knows we ain't going to talk about last week. We ain't supposed to be here, correct? It's nothing else for me to say other than say thank you and sit down, get your tickets, and I'm done. The shortest conversation I ever had in my life would be in a couple of minutes. My last question, my last question is, have you seen any difference in Ryan since he's been with Derrick James? And if so, uh, what, what can you kind of comment on that you've seen since he got Have I seen him? anything different since or he- improved. Improved? Or improved. Improved. Uh, I believe his attitude improved. I believe what's make, what makes him comfortable that we might not understand oh my God. is not, our problem is not his problem, is would he feel comfortable? Have I seen him elevate? Have I seen him improve? Derek James only been with Ryan Garcia, what? Two years, year, whatever? A year, year and a half, I gave him two. So say a year and a half, right? So in a year and a half, Ryan had what, two fights? Three, two, three fights. He ain't had more than three, correct? This is the second one, this is the second one with Derek. So let me tell you something, the great man Stewart had fights, fighters he had one time, they didn't look like he had them for two or three weeks, so let's, let's be, if we're going to, I don't look for fairness, not from people, right, I look for 
ignorance and I look for understanding. So I'm gonna give you the understanding after the ignorance. They have a chemistry that suits them and feels to Ryan that he can work with James based on the chemistry that they have. And whether he or I think or someone else thinks that he is not learning or he's not uh, looking different than he did before James is unfair question. And, 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 and I'd be a fool to try to say yes or no. I can just say give it a little bit of time. They only been together for two fights. Out of fairness, I mean, you know, if, fair, if fairness exists in this world, let's see what happens as time go on. I'm not saying two years. I'm not saying three years. I'm saying when he fight Saturday and when, not if, he wins Saturday and he gets another big fight. You don't go down from fights like this, you go up. That's why he want to get right back in the race. We got to give a guy of any sports, especially boxing, you take away the fight after the tank fight, that was a warm-up. We all know what that was. I look at this from tank to Devin Haney. Well, but no, you know he fought the guy. I don't want to look at that. I look at that as getting to see if I really want to. Man, that was just a little blow the dust off. Still got to be careful and respectful. It's still a fighter. Still need to be respectful. Or we wouldn't be here, correct? So look at, look at tank fight and straight to Devin Haney. Who does that in boxing? They ducking everybody. What you think he learned from the tank fight to this fight? Not to get hit. <laughs> and to keep people out of his camp that he don't know. And even watch the people you do know even more. It's lessons and everything. Does Ryan have a